Hey guys, Ryan Earnhardt here from creativesoundlab.tv. Well today we're gonna to be Frankensteining some amps. It's a really cool way to find undiscovered tone with the gear that you have. Usually for something like a combo amp, you just plug it in and you roll with it, you know? You put a mic in the front. But a lot of times, on some of these old Fender amps, they'll have a quarter inch jack. And that got me thinking, you know, why do I just always go for the speaker that's in the combo? I mean, why not mix and match? You know, I can get a speaker cable. Instead of going down to that speaker, I could go to something else. Maybe a speaker cabinet or a speaker from a different combo amp. So today we're just using a guitar amp head and going into a couple of the speakers. And these are speakers that are a part of the combo amps that I have. It's not a dedicated uh, you know, speaker cabinet or anything like that. I'm just kind of borrowing the speaker out of that combo amp. But of course, in real life, I mean, we could fire up the actual chassis of these amp combos. Now you have to check the impedance, right? You don't want to mismatch the impedance. Um, you don't want to, you know, damage an amp if you go too low with a speaker where the amp is expecting higher impedance. So if you can do that basic check and even make a note on the back, maybe with a little bit of tape of, hey, this speaker is eight ohms, this one's 16. And then you know kind of what can be mixed and matched. So this just kind of opens up the tone and kind of your thinking of what you can actually be doing in the studio to modify and search out unique guitar tones. And special thanks to my friend Matt Langston of Rock Candy Recordings for letting me borrow this Orange Dual Terror. All the examples today are used with an SM7B going into an ASP800 by Audion with the iron cranked all the way up. This is just a transformer option. We're driving that transformer just to add some tone of that transformer to the sound. Okay, so a really wide variety of tones here. I think probably my favorite example would be the left side of the 5150 amp. Um, that to me sounds the best. That's been probably my favorite speaker um, so far. But the cool thing about this is that, you know, some of these speakers, I don't even know what they sound like with some of the other chassis. So if I do just a little bit of preparation and figure out the ohms of each of my speakers and make it so that I can disconnect the speaker from the chassis, then I can mix and match these speakers with the chassis on top of each of the combo amps. Plus, if you have an amp head, obviously you can go into the speakers. So there's just tons of tone options. So that's the idea. Maybe I've gone too far with this, but I'd love to know what you think of this. Um, maybe I'm breaking some sort of guitar tone rules with this. I don't know. This is Creative Sound Lab, right? I mean, let's try stuff out. Let's find some cool tone. Uh, the Music Man, that was like a sleeper tone. I mean, I had no idea it sounded quite like that. So there's really cool tone that is hidden within the gear that you have. It's just a matter of breaking those habits that we already have when we set up tones and make recordings in our studio. So hit me up in the comments if you have any ideas or have any questions or comments. I'll be hanging out in the comments below.